Hello there. So it's been about a week since I last watched Dollhouse and about a day since I uploaded the first video of my reaction to Dollhouse and I am only up to episode 2. So what is going on guys? It is your boy Ellie Moses, your 22 year old law and film shooting here from Sydney, Australia shooting his shot. Let me reload, 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 reload. That's more like it. That's more like it. But yeah, <laughs> we are continuing our journey with Dollhouse finally. I guess I'm enjoying Breaking Bad and Avatar that much that I've sort of put Dollhouse to the side a little bit because I wasn't too much of a fan of the first episode. I thought it was okay, but it kind of reminded me of like those TV shows you'd see at night on like free to air, like persons of interest and stuff. Um, I'm not saying that's a bad show because my dad said it's actually a fantastic show, but it kind of gave me those kind of vibes and maybe it will grow on to me. Like you guys said in the comment section, um, the other day, uh, with the, the first episode reaction, it does take a while, um, to basically get into gear like all the Whedon shows. Um, you guys were saying around episode five or six, it starts to really kick into gear. And the first, you know, uh, five episodes are sort of like issue of the week type things or mission of the week. But I guess we'll find out. But yeah, we're here to react to episode two today titled The Target. So yeah, let's waste no more time. Let's have some fun. Let's get into the reaction. And hopefully you guys can like, share, subscribe if you enjoy the content. So yeah, let's waste no more time. Let's smash this thing. I want to do everything. Let's watch that. That's what I want to do. I want to do everything. Acting, directing, producing, screenwriting, everything. Sound? YouTube, Nothing, your training. We haven't had our shower. We always shower before. Everything's all right. Please get into your beds. Move out. Seriously? We have a Jurassic World situation. Asset out of containment. Bam. Negative contact, continuing sweep. The normal thing to eat our actives are as innocent and vulnerable as children. We call it the tabula rasa, the blank slate. Now oh. imagine the <laughs> Buffy <laughs> filling it, creating a new personality. A friend, a lover, a confidant in a sea of enemies. And there will be honestly. And completely. I've seen this actress be before. New. Or her there voice. Is, her voice. I thought everything was good with the background check. That's I've heard that. <laughs> Small, huh? To my employers. Very. Her voice. I recognize yeah. the voice. This girl's everything you promised. It'll be worth it. Just make sure you return her safe and sound. I'll keep a look. Yeah, we're going to a water park. Oh no, not water park. Why did I think it was a water park? We're going for some fun camping adventures. Well, there was a five. No way. Three, three and a half, maybe. Four, five, but we're pushing you out of the drink. You think so, huh? Huh. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I kind of feel sorry for Eliza Dushku in this role. Like, obviously she signed up for it, so I don't know how much she was on, but like, <laughs> I was just like, I, I just feel sorry for her. She probably didn't care at the time, or maybe she did care. It's like, imagine like, all right, each episode, you're going to be kissing a different guy each time because part of the story is your genetically or your mind is altered to be the desired girl for each individual random guy. Or girl, you never know. It could be an Anara companion with another girl thing. But yeah, <laughs> I just feel so right. All right, this episode, you're kissing this guy. This episode, you're kissing that guy. This episode, you're kissing this girl. It's just like, <laughs> like each episode, kissing a different guy. <laughs> like, Funny. That's a lot of money right there. Yeah, <laughs> brothers will kill you. Doesn't add up, does it? Hello? How are you doing here? It's a straight oh. What doesn't add up? Yeah. Why don't you give us the inside view on how this all... Is he Badger from Firefly? I recognized him. I saw the face. I was like, 
I, was he last episode in it and I didn't recognize it or was it just this episode? But yeah, um, maybe the guy from the start of the episode, the alpha, was it target or like subject alpha that went rogue sort of, or they forgot to wipe, um, that killed all the individuals in the, um, the dollhouse. Um, uh, maybe that was that individual at the end of the first episode that was looking over, uh, I forgot her name, Caroline's photographs and videos. The one that was like, um, sitting down with his legs crossed naked i think maybe it was that guy leads to the dollhouse or alternate plan why don't you just let us do our jobs Prison half dozen not all of it you, you grip them too tight here relax your hand you want the riser to just rest there pressing against your palm or a crease sounds dirty hey 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 it's your lifeline in your palm. You grip the riser too hard, your shot will torque. He was a big believer in, uh... Was that a salute? It's, uh, shoulder to the wheel. I'm interested to see the capabilities with this dollhouse, this, um, show in general. I mean, we've seen the other individual, uh, the other girl, I forgot her name, turn into, like, freaking John Wick last episode. Um, I don't know, getting Lara Croft Tomb Raider vibes here <laughs> with um, Caroline a little bit. Um, Rambo vibes with the crossbow. But like, um, interested to see the capabilities or the limits to this and to what extent they alter her mind or like to what extent um, they give her different types of personalities or traits. We saw last episode, obviously, with the negotiator. And I'm interested to see um, where the limit is. And yeah, that's that's what's got me intrigued. Do the work, earn your way. If you can bring down something bigger than you, like just this, you prove you deserve to eat it. <laughs> Damn! Is there anything you're not good? At? <laughs> I think that, that was with my tongue to be some work. <laughs> that was a perfect woman. That was a climactic <laughs> transition. <laughs> Let's <laughs> see, so he finishes first this round. I might be able to win. Fail! I'll like give you a five minute head start. The oh, fudge? And then I'm coming after you. Are we gonna hunt her ass down? What What a switch up! What the heck? Deputy, Mr. Langdon, who will be replacing Samuelson. Good. Does that mean I can get his body out of my office? We'll take care of it. Right. I noticed in these flashback sequences, obviously the saturation and vibrance is turned up a notch and the scars on Amy Acker's face um, really, really stand out. Um, last episode, because of the lighting, obviously you could tell they were there, but in this episode, because of the saturation and vibrance, they look fresh. Um, they look like she was a victim of Alpha breaking out and Alpha did this to her. Um, if that's the right name of the captive or the, um, the subject that broke out from memory of the start of the episode, but it looked like she was a survivor of that situation in the light of recent events. And yeah, those scars look fresh. So that's what I'm under the impression. Right, everything's under control. Thanks. Dr. Saunders is still recovering. Same guy who killed Samuelson? He was unfortunate. There we go. I want to see Samuelson's body. What's left of it? I really don't. <laughs> Show me. Not good enough. Not good enough. Woo! What do you make? Single blade, lancerated. Two to twelve centimeters. The tendons in the extremities were severed first to disable them. And then the real work started. You telling me you programmed one of your dolls to be Jack the Ripper? Not my department. <laughs> All I know is that Alpha accessed multiple imprints, personalities that should have been erased. And one of them did this. And slaughtered everyone around your girl before pulling a smoke and mirrors. So why didn't he kill Echo? Because they were together. Or he liked her. So what is it with this guy? Did he just groom his prey and then he becomes the predator? Like, is that it? Is that all he hired her for? Um, 
What the? What the heck? What happened to not damaging the subject? That's intent to kill. That's millions of dollars. Satellite retask coming online. Yeah, be too careful, Mr. Creole. Things so far off the beaten. Things that track an unsavory element. No worries, ours. We couldn't be more safer. What the fudge? Good to know. Is he the alpha guy? I'm guessing. With how swift that movement was. He must be with the amount of flashbacks we're getting this episode. Peter Samuelson. You're bigger than the last one. And behind the gray matter curtain. So Alpha's one of your achievements. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, was an anomaly. Girl. She's not a girl. Not even a person, just an empty hat. Until you stuff a rabbit in it. <laughs> what the hell is going on over there? Everything's fine. You okay? Yeah. Except for the gun pointed at my head. <laughs> Boy! <laughs> Buddy! <laughs> Okay, maybe this is not Alpha because I feel like Alpha would have destroyed him by now. I don't know what my man's on here, but <laughs> he did take some adrenaline. <laughs> Turn it into bare grills, but not the kind version. Oh, that looks like a cabin in the woods. I wonder if that's his dad's place because he said something about his dad before. I don't know. Some patriotic guy living here or something. Okay. I guess that's the... The Rangers place? You don't sound too good. We didn't drink like canteen there, did you? Wow. Uh, um, that would be bad. Do I have to be here for this? Handler active imprint requires a direct line of sight, so she needs to be looking into those dreamy brown eyes when I wave my magic wand. What do you want? Me and special needs become buddy buddy? Hey, this isn't about friendship, man. It's about trust. From this point on, Echo? We'll always trust you without question or hesitation, no matter what the circumstance. You're about to become the most important person in your life. I'm guessing this is a bit of foreshadowing here. Let's just get this over with. Hey, 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 hey this is art. Is that an oil painting? Everything's going to be all right. Now that you're here. Do you trust me? With my life. Hey, wait. Is that her? Hey. Yeah, it is. Because she was wearing a similar... She was wearing a similar dress up. Similar attire, sorry, in the TV last episode. I think it was the same... It was the same outfit. Between me and the girl. I don't know. I don't know. I swear to God. <laughs> I don't think he's listening. The guy hired me over the phone. I never met him. I was just supposed to get you to stall the response team. 
Got a bullet in my head. <coughs> hey, it's business. <laughs> Oh, neat transition there. I'm, I'm guessing whatever she drank has insinuated or triggered a little bit of... Or messed up with the imprint a little bit. So she started seeing things that obviously happened in the past. Just swinging by for a bite and getting back to it. Keeping our streets safe. I should thank you. Thank you. you this have some lasagna. I have leftovers. Came out of nowhere. You know it's only leftovers if you've already eaten some, Nelly. Made another one that I... Really good. Rain check? Totally, yeah. Anytime. Just knock. I'm always... Ooh, um, pretty. Nobody. According to the FBI database. No record of her. Is she in trouble? Maybe. I just got caught up with the wrong people. That came out of that came out of nowhere. <laughs> Bro, this guy thinks he is Stallone. You are nowhere near him, my friend. I hope you get clapped. <laughs> White boy Rambo ass. <laughs> Do I know you? Everything's gonna be all right. No, you're here. Ah, the key words. They're not gonna kill him off early, surely. Hopefully, the reconnaissance team comes in. Not reconnaissance, the backup team. I mean, we're bombarded with perfect teeth and hair and abs. Who cares what's underneath? I wouldn't have looked twice at him. Okay, so he's heavy. He's not the guy from the magazines or the movies, but he's real. I can stop talking about him. Jason Voorhees? Why would you go for him? Can you wait for me? I want to see him after my treatment. Before I get too scared, or that's what sad. These people get when they, I need him to know what I'm thinking. Oh man, I wonder how many times and how many days he's had to go through that. Bye. I'll be right back. Yeah, she's yeah. How many times he's heard that as well? She's so excited. To have something in her life. She ain't coming back. She get wiped. No. If we keep moving, you're gonna die. If Robin Hood catches up with us, we're both gonna die. Something in my water. Poisoned you? I said it wouldn't kill me, but I've been seeing things. Okay, that's thanks. that's not good. The girl that looks like me, but isn't. Your body from the shower. And a man standing over me holding a knife, but I can't see his face. I don't think he has one. Did you hear what I said? Everything's going to Everything's be Everything's not going to be all right. Oh, she ain't responding. You don't get to live just because you deserve to. You have to prove it. You have to put your shoulder to the wheel. I don't speak English. I'm kind of bleeding to death here. He's not gonna stop. You can't go after this guy. You don't have the right info. You don't have the right training. I'm a fast learner. Jenny. Do you trust me? Hmm? Do you trust me? It's like it's reversed. Is he gonna say with my life? With my life. Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you know how to use this? None of them Democrats. I'm just going to say my thoughts now quickly on the episode in general. I feel like this is a little bit better of an episode. Not a little bit. I think it's a... Mm, like a better episode than the first one, in my opinion. Um, Obviously, this situation with Richard is sort of like a device to obviously reveal what's happened in the past with the dollhouse um with this alpha situation and sort of like a vehicle to um get 
Echo or Jenny in this situation, you know, uh, starting to question things or to see, I guess, some of the, you know, little bugs in the system, some of the little glitches in the system and some of the loopholes um, with the dollhouse program and the imprints and how they are able to be sort of exposed. For instance, he gave her that uh, substance and she's been able to see things in the past, see herself, see things um with the alpha situation and that's the revolving pl plot point around this episode this whole um asset out of containment this whole situation where um dollhouse or the hierarchies at dollhouse trying to sweep under the rug and trying not to replicate that situation again and i'm guessing that individual at the end of the first episode that's looking at um caroline or whatever echoes um profile and watching her videos is that alpha guy now i thought he was the guy that rocked up but obviously he's been hired by richard i'm guessing um so that guy at the end of the first episode is alpha and he's going to tie into a much bigger situation and he clearly let echo live for a reason and i guess more will be revealed along the way and then obviously we have the situation with the fbi agent who's trying to uncover the mysteries of this dollhouse because to other i guess uh feds or to other um to other officers in the FBI, um, this whole dollhouse thing is a myth and he's trying to uncover that. So um, it's a fairy tale. But yeah, I feel like this episode is a stronger one than the first one. <laughs> I'm going to shoot you with the gun my buddy gave me. <laughs> You're playing my game now. Damn. This guy is an adrenaline junkie in all the wrong ways. I just wanted to make a difference. You better hang up with some advice. You don't want the big bad wolf to find you. You should really turn off your walkie. <laughs> is this the best date ever or what? I mean, he's an arrow in that pretty little chest. He snuck up on her. He could have shot her. How's that arm holding up? Maybe I'm not the one that's gonna miss. I'm just waiting what? for the other guy to shoot him from behind. Why don't we ease up? I forgot the agent's name. Call it a draw. <laughs> Slow mo, baby. Damn! Goldberg would be proud of that spear. <laughs> Damn! I'm just waiting for the other guy to shoot him. Oh no. Okay, maybe not the other guy. You said you were gonna kill me. It's a good thought follow through. What are you talking about? Shoulders the wheel, baby. Shoulders the wheel. Interesting. Funny thing is, not the funny thing is, but they're just gonna wipe her memory again. And she's gonna like obviously completely forget this happened. And she's gonna be back to normal echo again. Just oblivious to everything. Empty. They gotta be careful with who they sign their their girls up with now. Come on, man. Do you trust me? <laughs> All that removed. For a little while. Uh. 
The background checks are supposed to prevent this sort of thing. <laughs> there we go. How is it that you miss the fact that Connell is a psychopath? Doesn't exist. Nothing in his jacket was real. His entire background from birth to college to his referral here, all of it was fabricated. I've never seen anything this intricate. Dumbasses. But not from his run in with Langton. Alpha. That's not the way I left him. Similar, similar cuts. The DSWs were non fatal, painful, but you avoided the major arteries. What about these other wounds? Caused by a single non serrated blade. Similar to Alpha. Approximately 10 centimeters in length. The lacerate comes by surprise. Almost surgical. Just like, seen this before. just like Alpha, the flashbacks. Alpha. There we go. That's impossible. Isn't that what we do here? Impossible. Alpha is dead. After he... After what he did, they tracked him down and put a bullet in his brain. Oh. They'd never lie to us about something like that. <laughs> that brain is full of adamantium. Alpha could have killed Echo <laughs> and escaped, but he didn't. He wasted bodies, but he left her alive. Now... Someone hired some nut job to hunt her down in the woods. Maybe it was Alpha. Maybe not. The only thing I really know is it all leads back to Echo. I forgot this guy's name, but I like him. Come on. Are you? Am I? Sorry. Are you really sorry? A lot of people seem to end up dead around you. How's it make you feel? Oh, right. You don't, unless we tell you how. Bro, this guy's just mucking what? around with her. What a flop. I'm going to swim in the pool. He just asked her serious questions, where if that was Definitely Jenny... I'd put you in the attic. Or the ground. Yeah, like talking to you is going to make a difference. See? Is my girl in there? That guy's an F-wit. I'm gonna go swim in the pool. Oh, oh, the sh oh, she remembered the shoulder gesture. Okay, that episode has me more intrigued. I'm not gonna lie, that episode was better than the first. I like it. Uh, it's got me more intrigued. I'm kind of more curious about this Alpha storyline. Um, it seems like Echo is picking up on little um, subtleties or subtle like words movements like that hand gesture to the shoulder from her experiences as they keep happening um it seems like like i said these loopholes the glitches keep presenting themselves and i'm interested to see if they become aware of them or yeah i'm uh, just like or i forgot the individual the guy who's with her current like her uh companion or the the, the the guy, I forgot his name, but um, yeah, I'm interested to see whether he starts picking up on it or it seems to be that she's oblivious um, to that event, but it seems like she just did that out of like habit, but she obviously doesn't know the meaning of it, but it's something she picked up from that experience. Um, and it's going to be interesting to see how she, you know, starts to remember certain bits of her past each episode. And this storyline of Alpha has got me intrigued and what happened to the dollhouse and their subject and what secrets they're keeping from everyone else. Um, what the higher ups are keeping from everyone else. So yeah, I like that episode much better than the first. And I'm more curious now um, about the storyline, about what they're going to do with Echo and what sort of, you know, um, things Echo is going to remember across uh, the series or as each event happens. Um, it seems like... We're going to deal with these sort of um, missions of the week or sort of clients of the week. Um, and Dollhouse got completely rickrolled in that episode as well with the guy's fabricated background. He turned out to be a psychopath and just wanted to do uh, Hunger Games on Echo right there. So it was. Um, but yeah, this episode, like I said, has got me more intrigued for the series. And yeah um i enjoyed that one not bad not bad not bad much better than the first so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed my reaction as always it's been your boy Lee moses take care god bless peace